are we doing here? <laughs> All right. This is the uh, Lunenburg Water District Commissioner's Meeting, June 14th, 2023. We will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. We have minutes of May 24th. Did anybody get to preview or are they kicking Can around? I sign those? I signed mine. Or, uh, oh, geez, signed you guys. One. No, you guys are no, way OTB ahead of me, everybody. On the ball. On the ball. Uh, well, I'm. Woody, did you get to look at these? I didn't, man. And I signed it. Okay. All right. Well. And we got warrants. And, I at and we'll go, we'll, while we're looking that stuff over, we can talk with the discussion with resident of 34. Are they coming in? No. No. Okay. They called. Fact, she no. needs to reschedule. Okay. I think she still wants to come. She's, okay. She's going to reschedule. Okay. Um, um, review bronze. Uh, yeah. Let's just give a second. <laughs> we'll go over this. see our tech guy are we getting up to speed on that yes we are officially compliant to, yes get a firewall in get the pipe in here that's good DDR okie doke all right you also, you, you also have the minutes I'm all set with the minutes. You all set with the minutes? I would like to make a motion to approve the minutes of May 24th. That's a great idea. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. And uh, now we're going to review the bond options for funding and updates on Mass Ave water main replacement. So that's a handout I gave you guys. Um, I misunderstood him. Last time I presented it, I thought we had to come up with the term, the the length of what we're looking for, 10 years, 15 years, Correct. 20 years, I misunderstood him. We don't have to decide that right now. We know we're just going out for temporary borrowing for now, and it isn't until the project's done that, we need that we'll decide. Okay. But you guys had requested to see what our long-term debt looked like, so I put together that, that one spreadsheet at the front that has all of our loans right now. Uh, the bond, the this place, you'll see is the longest one goes till 49. Yep. 2049. Uh, the next one down would be the water means that one drops off. This is the last year we'll have that payment. And um, so after this year, the only two payments we're going to have is the office and Keatings. Okay. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so fiscal 25. It. Uh, Yes, so this year, 23 to 24, we have that uh, $410,000 coming mm -hmm. out for all those loans. Mm -hmm. Next year, we will only have the garage and Keatings mm -hmm. from 25 to 31. Then in 2031, Keatings drops off. From 2032 to 2049, we'll have the okay. garage. Okay. But Unless uh, we pull in, obviously, pay I, in other ones. But this just gives you... Sure. Yeah. So I would the, I would assume that, that we're going to keep on... on. We should... If, if our budget allows us to keep on this sort of a track... Which it has. That's what we've been budgeting. Then that's what we should be staying because we're, we're going to have... That's kind of what I was thinking, is if we carry... The future anyway. You know, the fiscal 25 to 31, you're at 332. So if we look at that carrying 
the four seventy five. Because our first from, our first payment on the Mass Ave water main will be fiscal year twenty four to twenty five, mm -hmm. which will be that twenty five to thirty one fiscal year. So we'll yep. have. Uh, $120,000 dropping off. Correct. So we could look at it and say, okay, $120,000 is already budgeted. budgeted in. What can so we fill in? now what are we deciding on payments? Sure. And then we can figure out how we want to do that. Do we want to do a line item on the bills and say, I to make that. up the difference for the payments, we need to, to do this amount. So yes, my thinking is we take that money that we saved from the other loans, we apply it to that mass ad loan and Lineups, we do a combination. Mm -hmm. We yep. cover half. Yeah, the district the covers half, covers, covers this portion, which is already included in our maintenance mm -hmm. budget. Yep. But the additional part that we would need to cover this, right. do that line item. And then this way, I like the idea, obviously it's stuff we can look at later, but the idea of having that, you know, Mass Ave water main replacement put at the bottom of the bills. Mm -hmm. 2024 to whatever term we decide, 10 sure. years, 20 years. Um, do we, am I right in saying, though, like if, if, if I took this uh, fiscal 25, mm -hmm. the 332 number, mm -hmm. and I subtracted it from the 2223 number, mm -hmm. that that should be the money that we would have available to put towards loan payments? Yes. So that's the way I look at it. Right. Once we. You, know, whenever you, you got interest tied into it. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right, but I mean, so it's pretty close. roughly, so I come up with like 143000 mm -hmm. annually that we have, so depending upon... Yeah, so that's why I thought you guys could look at, I mean, at least it's just something to look at. Obviously, we don't have right. to decide right. it, but look at it and say, okay, you know, obviously the interest, the payments are pretty big on the 10-year one, but the 15-year one would be nice to do 10 or 15, but you already have 100 and roughly. What's the payments on 10-year? 270. So if we cover 140 of it. That's actually pretty good, yeah, so. And then the, the balance. Well, yeah, so when it gets closer, that's when I can come, we could. Because the, the only way we could really do it without, based up, without doing anything is 20 years. would be a 20 year. But, I mean, look at your final numbers on the back when you do that. Look at your interest yes, that you're paying on each. You're paying an additional. Painful. It is. So if we, I when it gets closer time. and we have our numbers, oh my God, what I'm yeah, thinking yeah. we can do is sit there and say, well, this is what we could charge the residents. If we did a 10 year loan, this is what the charge would be per quarter per customer. If we did a 20 year loan, this is what it would be. Then that way we could look at it more realistically when sure. the project I think finishes. the other thing too is like, we do need to err on the side of caution here because it is my thought process that in the next eight to 10 years, oh, we're, we're gonna have treatment plants on every well we have. Yeah. Let's hope so. Well, we're going to be buying water from Fitchburg uh, at double, paying, double, yeah, double the rate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> paying for them to put the treatment yeah. plants in. So and this is just sure. for, for your knowledge right now. I was misunderstood yep. when I, I thought we had to come we up with a decision with tonight that, right? yeah. when I originally had done this and then I've had some conversations with them uh, the past two days. Um, so really, the only thing that kind of pushes us back was when we originally started all this, he wanted to do, we were talking timeline, we were going to do a draft bid sheet next week and then go out somewhat for financing the end of June to get financing approved by the beginning of July, but... Don't we, we still haven't heard don't from we just Santec. Get, don't we just do temporary anyway? We do temporary, but I mean, like I thought when I originally started this process with mm -hmm. him, you know, we had talked originally, oh, DOT will be back with us on this date and right. we'll know this. Yeah, did we ever get all checked out from DOT or is that? No. Yeah. And, and it's not that it's Stantec. Okay. And they they responded in that time frame. Okay. And they came up with like three pages of things they wanted to see. Uh, Understood, yeah. Clearly placed on the plans. Mm -hmm. And they all made sense. Like, yeah. How are you going to cross this driveway? Well, you need to say it in the plans. Sure. You, you know, so it was all, to me, it was simple. They just put on the plans. Yep. And uh, Stantec hasn't done. And this isn't Stantec's first job. I mean, they should know that. I can see where sometimes different people building, they all want different things. You know, yeah. it's, it's a, I can't, like, you can guess what they want, but like every time you go to them. But it should be. But, he also, shouldn't, shouldn't but be. he also told you he'd have the answers to you by Monday, and it's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so last week I sent them an email and I said, I, I want all this completed by Friday mm -hmm. this week. Uh, so he called me on Thursday and said uh, he would have everything to me on Monday and for, for us to review and then 
uh, submitted to the state on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm like, perfect. I can, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's Wednesday. I'm in our thing. Crickets. And, yeah, so. Well, I'm glad moving forward we're using somebody that's more responsive. And yes. Maybe yeah. Not. Yeah. So we'll, I'll, I guess I'll talk to Unibank when yeah. we hear from Stantec and see if we need to just push it out a couple weeks or if it's worth just going for it. I mean, I hate to get money and borrow. You're paying, you're paying interest on it. I, exactly. Yeah. I hate right. to start the yeah. process if we haven't even done this exactly. yet. So I don't want I'll, I'll be in touch with him. But this just gives us an overview for sure. you guys to, to get there's enough. The there's next, enough time the between the bid yes. process, the opening of the bid process in order to fi yeah. file and get the financing, I would yeah. assume. Okay. Yep. So hopefully the bids come in nice and cheap. Mm. We'll see. But hopefully. Yeah. So sometimes we're, we're surprised how, how cheap they come in. His pipe's still way up? Uh, have not heard. I think it. I think it's the same, but I, I haven't checked. I know PVC is still up. I haven't looked at these ductile. I think PVC went up, which is very available, only because ductile went up. Right? Yeah, yeah. You can make more. Do it, right? Okay. Are we all good on that? The yeah. Mass have. Yeah. yeah. We're just still waiting on the engineer and the state. Okay. <clears throat> um. Discuss Hickory Hills pilot study and conservation updates. Okay, so uh, we had the conservation meeting. It kind of lasted quite a while. A lot, a lot of questions and stuff. But uh, I gave you a, a letter from. Uh, this came from conservation. Yeah, it came from Anna. I spoke to Anna today a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, that was pretty much everything in the conservation. That was the concerns that they, you know, the, they feel we need to address in the, in the final. Yep, I stopped. I stopped into her office and I asked her to make sure that she circulated this amongst her board, and that they, they as many questions as they needed to get answered for the next we would have. So okay, so so after that meeting, they uh, requested the sample results that we have taken for the PFAS, mm -hmm. PFAS, whatever. Yep. And uh, so I sent. The samples that we took of the well, and I also sent the samples that we took of the lake. And when you, the the, the reg, current regulation, as long as you're under 20, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. That well had readings of like 28, uh, 37. You know, so we we exceeded the 20. So that's, that's why we're available. For funding. I mean, funding's available to us. Mm -hmm. So when I whipped up the the uh, lake sample results, they were under the 20. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, not not huge. They were just on. Right. So I saw the email. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so uh, in that I put. Uh, well, yeah. John's on when he didn't see the email. So in that I, the the focus nowadays is specific to more two of those chemicals, the PFOA and the PFOS, mm -hmm. not the PFAS. Usually we just say PFAS is the one sure. where it covers them all. So on the lake samples, they were actually higher than the well on one of those. So you know that that was my. Thing is, they, they, they have some serious issues anyway. So, us with that water dumping it on the ground, and part of it was better quality than what they have, they, they, that's currently there. So, so when, they tra when they track PFAS in, a, in general, we know it's a group of chemicals, mm -hmm. and they, they um, are refining that test to that PFOA and, and PFOS. Right. And those are the, the chemicals that's part of that group that they're more concerned with. Correct. And and when you take our readings and the lake readings, you're saying in some cases the lake's higher than our readings. Yes, on, on one of those. The lake is higher, and then uh, on the other one, the well is higher. Okay. They're all as fairly, I can't say close to each other, but as when you get into that, I mean, there's no alarming numbers one way or another. Not, not one's 40. Uh, yeah, one's, well, the, the thing is, they're all over that four parts right. of the trade, so they're yeah. all, yeah, they're it's all, all in violation. Yeah, so. it's sure. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So, so yeah. tell me if I'm wrong. If the two, if the two different readings, the lake and our wells, mm -hmm. that goes to show you the water is not intermixed. The true or not? Uh, well, it it, it it all filters into the the sub, the sub base, the, the uh, sand and gravel below the lake. So eventually, whatever's in the lake. Even though the lake tends to have a uh, impervious barrier with the leaves and stuff, that, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. kind of builds a barrier there. But still, water penetrates through it, so eventually, the lake water will get to that well. Right, but the majority of the, because the the zone two normally goes 
in a direction of where the water is filtered through the ground towards the well, correct? Correct. So our zone two actually extends out through the woodlands up towards Gilchrist Street and Northfield Road. Correct. So the majority of the water <coughs> comes through the gravel pack under the ground from that direction to the well. Pretty much. It's not like it comes from the lake down and towards the well. It comes from the zone to the other direction. So, oh, cool. Okay. All right. So, so when I did talk to Anna about that, uh, she did say it was going to be a long meeting. She was like four other continuances. Uh, three others up ahead of us. Ahead of us. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. So it'll be a long meeting. The next meeting. The next and meeting. these are the these are the items that they they've they've chosen that they need more information from us on. Uh, yes. Correct. Yep. So this is sent to the engineers. Uh, and I actually already sent it to the engineers. Yep. Made sure I went to all of them. Uh, the only one I, I question is number two. Alarm or notification system implemented to alert for possible overflow from tank. So I I, I asked Tom at uh, Ty and Bond. I said, can't we just fill the tank manually, fill it and shut it off, and done, walk away. And uh, I mean, it's not really a, wouldn't be a big deal to put a gauge in there and have it have it automatically so, turn on and off. But but yeah. the, the the alarm for the leakage in the piping. How, how do you have an alarm for leakage in the piping? Right, That's, you that don't. Kind of impossible. Yeah. So. If there was leakage, it's it would have to be panelists. So you're thinking we could we could fill the thing manually on a daily basis? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Some and and you still things. have there's still an, an alarm type thing because isn't there a float that once the float goes up, it shuts it off. So that wouldn't that kind of be a at Guess least some sort of automated. Are we can have automated maybe maybe if we automate it and we have a guys that actually watch it too. I don't I don't know. We we just tied the skater, so we'll so, have to get the skater guy there. And he could tie that everything into the skater. The the piping one is the difficult one. I yeah, know. the piping one. Yeah, that's. I yeah, I don't, I don't know how you could. Well, the only the only it. thing on, on you mean so what what kind of piping were going from the 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 hydrant that it was connected to? Probably a fire hose. What, what are we it's using? Be a fire hose to a plastic pipe that goes in. Yeah, it's tank. not going to be a rigid rigid hose. Up right. It's going to be a fire hose. that thing on, fill it up, shut it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or if we do it with the tank fill. So, so when you when you're filling it up, is it filling at a, a regulated rate? Can you put a, some sort of a flow meter on when it's filling, uh, and then and, and then if it if that flow changes or alters, then obviously you have a hole in your your line. Yeah, I, or I, pressure. I don't know. I don't know. I, to me, uh, so it's going to come from the hydrant. So the well's going to turn on. And it's going to flow through the hydrant into the tank. So to me, it's a VFD uh, variable frequency drive, so everybody knows. And you set the, you can set the, the frequency and set a flow rate. So if we set the thing for, I'm going to make up a number because I don't know what it would be. Let's say it's typical full speed is 60. So if you set it say like 30, there's our flow rate. So we just leave it at 30. That's the max flow. Turn it on. Open the hydrant all the way up. Fill the tank. Shut it off. And leave the hydrant open. Yeah. And then, the right. Yeah. And then because that's. And then when we shut the thing off, I mean, the water's gone. Would the valve that you're talking about be on the hydrant or be on the tank? It would be the pump itself. Uh, like on the, the, the well. The, oh, the well itself. Yeah. So, you, so but you could regulate from the skater system, right? Uh, we could, yeah. And, and, and if there's a flow switch in there and it's automatic, it's going to turn the well on and the flow's going to shut it off. Could you just somehow program something just so, like, like an alarm goes off when the well's on, like which you would know every day or how often we fill it. Be like, it's the only way that thing is going to get filled is the well is turned on. Exactly. So, right now. one of the things they discussed is they might not drain the whole tank every day. Mm -hmm. So I don't see where if if the whole tank isn't draining, I'm, I'm okay with some sort of automated. But we could physically go down there. How long is it going to take to fill the tank? Uh, depends on what flow rate, what the flow rate is. I mean, it's a 20,000 gallon tank, yeah, so it could take a while. Let's say if I flow full speed, 500 gallons a minute. Well, 20 minutes. Yeah. So, um, if if, but, if if it really came to it, the guys come in and check the wells every day anyway, mm -hmm. and we're here every day anyway. That's and, and, and they wanted us to be able to, they wanted to know that we were inspecting the site to make sure it was safe on a daily basis. So, so, so no matter what, if it's automatic or manual, whatever it is, 
no, no matter what, every day we're going to go there. And right, right, right. I would, I would think even twice a day. But if you're not, if if the only thing that's happening at the tail end of the day is the water draining out of the tank under not a lot of pressure at 10 gallons a minute or less because I think they use that 10 gallons or 12 gallons a minute as a max but they talked that it might actually be even less sometimes right so you know it's <coughs> if, if I would say I would think the only possibility would be when the well is on for something that could be a, a problem as far as a break under that amount of pressure, that amount of flow. And, and the rest of the test, I don't see there ever being an issue. That uh, yeah, I, I agree. And, I, and uh, if it did leak, what's what's the concern? I mean, it's not going to damage it. It's kind of not at, not at that flow rate. Yeah. So <laughs> it's water, not gas. So, so right. So you know, wor worst case, we're we're there filling it manually every day. Worst case. Yeah. But we'll see what the engineers come up with. But yep. Uh, just so you know, also that pit of concern was how how much can that pit take? Uh, we have a hose running there into that drain, ten gallons a minute. It's been running for all week, and it has not shown any any impacts. I was just down there. Oh, okay. Actually, it was when you came there, John. I was down there. You running so. that contaminated water in there, or are you <laughs> running clean water? It's a pit. It came from the ground. It's going back in the ground. <laughs> oh, it takes clean water. It's yeah, coming from that. Coming from our system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, it's system water. Okay. Uh, so alarm notification was that that we just went over. So uh, details of proposed dry well, including design capacity and known capacity testing, to be added to the plans application. Well, that you're doing that now. Right. And I did. Uh, I found the plans from the uh, when it was installed. Mm -hmm. I sent that to the engineer, so they're going to do okay. a detailed description and send that to conservation. Okay. And you're still running that. 10 gallons a minute. Okay. So that, I mean, our next meeting is... Uh, for us or for conservation? For conservation. Next Wednesday. Is that next Wednesday? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So by then, we'll have, I think we'll have pretty good data because you have ground, you, with all the rain, the high groundwater that we have right now, if you're going to have a failure, you're going to have it, I would uh, think. I agree. Sure. And, and, uh, but I, I think we also should have a contingency plan. Of oh, I, yep. <coughs> they still got it, yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it... It's good to. I think it's good to have a contingency plan. Um, I know that in watching a meeting, if there's a failure, we're 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 going to suspend the test until we figure out a correct a corrective action to it. So, you know, there. I know that alone is not a contingency plan, but it's not like we're gonna. If we have a failure, we're going to keep going. We're we're going to have to shut the, to shut the test down. Figure out what the. What well, the corrective action is. Having, having a contingency plan. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what's yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so that you don't have to. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah so we that, don't want to suspend it. Yeah. It's already written in, into the NOI exactly what you're going to, if X happens, yes, if you're going to do happens, Y. This, yeah, then that way we don't have to yeah. stop, go yep. to them, yep. start from scratch. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so that's the dry well. Schematics of the overall test system. Planned water flow from well to frac tank to filtering meter all the way through the discharge. And we already have. Uh, this will be the the pipe from the hydrant to the tank. Okay. So, so they, they just want to see that. Yeah, they're gonna write it on, put it on the plan. Okay. So okay. They didn't see a big deal putting it. Remediation plan submitted for after the frac tank is removed from the site as far as vegetation regrowth and soil compression. So yep. this one, I, I didn't mention this to the engineers, but why can't we just move the tank into the road? There is no vegetation. Yeah. I always thought we were going to put it right in front of the building anyway, right, right on the hard gravel pack. Yeah, they, their intent was beside the building. Well, we were trying to make it less. Hey, yeah, you mean yeah, the right hand side of the building them, facing the door? So looking at the building, the front door, it'd be to the right of the building. Well, there's a big mound there. That, or no, unless, it was going to fit <coughs> okay. between the mound and the, and the building. So okay, all right. Between, I would yeah. say if. Um, <coughs> might be worth either the engineers or if we had to consult our own they must have their own wetland specialist oh, or something yeah, yeah. yeah. so they, they, they he must have an idea of what you do because they I, I know I've done a lot of wetland remediation they they have cures for everything so all right so I'll, I'll put that back on them either you know remove the tank or come up the remediation. I would say we could give them a we let's go to conservation give them an option we can put the t tank on the gravel pack mm -hmm. in front of the building 
or yep. we're going to put the tank where we wanted to put the tank, and and their their environmental specialist has this remediation plan for us. Okay. Put it back on conservation and decide what's best. Right. Whatever's whatever they prefer. Uh, offer these notes. Good faith for us. And they they don't foresee any of the other items that came up at their meeting. Um, they went over everything that they went at, uh, as far as their meeting, and these are the things that they're concerned about at the next meeting. Uh, yes, but Anna was clear that uh, things could change. Oh yeah, or whatever they I'm discussed. sure we'll still have. It actually, more. says it on the bottom of this if you read it. So yeah, yeah, that's why I was looking looking at it. I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to ask additional questions. So, okay. So, so okay. do we have a meeting before the 21st? No. No. So we're just going to rely on that the engineers are pretty much going to answer most of these questions. I believe so, yes. Yeah. And so I would just say with our, with our they, notes. They usually call you before, too. Yeah. We yeah, talk we, before we, we discuss it. Just a, yeah. It is something to think about before we get to the next meeting. Yep. Securing the site down there. Um, one of the conservation members at the uh, Zoom meeting uh, recommended that the site be secured, and one of the members, or one of the owners from the Woodlands, was uh, pretty well concerned about liability. And I agree, because uh, one of the other members of the board down the Woodlands was concerned about safety and this and that, so I think we should give some kind of consideration about what we're going to do down here to fence off the area so nobody gets hurt, there's no liability involved, there's no damage, there's uh, no problems. So, a zone one typically is very restrictive, correct? <clears throat> Yes, pretty much you can walk on it. Right. But that's going to be part we, of the problem. Well, we've we've it. worked with uh, what that that's um, when we went before the the town for the changes the last time we the engineers put forth changes for the yeah. zone ones. That's um, that's town by law, isn't it? Correct. Okay. And we've boards as far as uses that I mean DEP would discourage in zone one, we we are are, are pretty um, I think the board the past boards have been pretty open with the community. Yeah, pretty I relaxed mean with it. Yeah. you got you got snowmobile trails going right through the the Lancaster Ave zone ones, mm -hmm. um, which I'm sure DEP isn't a big fan of, and that's probably not even in the. I, it may or may not be in the the bylaws, the the zoning bylaws for the town, or is that what it is? Is it zoning yes, for us? Yeah. Um, you know, and it, and a lot of the residents down there, um, at the especially at the Woodlands, when I'm down at the well, there's a giant kayak rack there. They go right, they walk right through the zone one to a, a beach where they go and to, to get to their dock. So it's, you know, it it's kind of a shared responsibility. Uh, I I don't think that I understand the security aspect, and I think if there is a life hazard in anything that we are are doing down there, we should have safety precautions down there. And uh, I don't know. I don't think that the thought process from the the people down there when they made that comment was to secure the to put a fence around the whole zone one. No, uh, but if you if you go up the Ridge Road and you look at Fitchburg's oh, Road, they, they they don't let you Lemister, do anything. You can't even fish near that place. Yep. And I I think we're very lax on protecting our water supplies. Um, there's a gate down on Lancaster Avenue, but okay, that keeps people from driving in there. But down there, 
I mean, they got a beach down the end, picnic table, chairs, kids' toys uh, down by the water. They've been raking the, the sand in the in the lake, which they're not supposed to be doing, which is, you know, no big deal really. But we don't protect any of our water supplies, hardly any at all. No fences, no couple of signs. I mean, Most they signs. They're they're all. I mean, if you go down to Keatings, I mean, the well's well in the woods. You see the building up front, which has a fence around it. Yeah. Yeah, but if somebody I mean, wants to get to it, they'll get to it. Oh, yeah? You know? I, I think that, uh, yeah, I would I agree almost any one of our water supplies. If they want to get to something, they'll get, they'll get at but it. But you're going to have to put some kind of a fence down. Even if you put a temporary fence around the construction site, which you're going to have to pay to have put up, and you're going to pay monthly or weekly or however they rent them containment fences, that has definitely got to go. There's not a construction site around that not have a fenced-in area. People are naturally curious. They're going to go over there. They're going to look. They're going to see what's going on. They're going to touch this. They're going to touch that. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to pay to have a temporary fence put up, put that money towards a permanent fence. Why spend it twice? Get some prices on a temporary and see what it's going to cost us. Get a price on a permanent, and then we can decide what we're going to do. But... I think something that really got to be done down there. I mean, well, it, I know it was discussed slightly at the conservation, right? Uh, and I and I I got on and says I didn't know we were planning on uh, an old fence. fence was proposed. So, so I didn't know, but I, I left it as if you guys want one, then then we'll, we'll put one. But I don't think it's it went to the point where they actually want one. Right. So you don't and think? I don't, I, I don't think we need one. I think security to some extent on on. Um, certain things is probably a good idea um, just to keep people's curiosity because should something happen you know I'm sure we you know the liability thing came up I think we have liability town has liability there's um, sure I mean we yeah we have there's, 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 ge there's general you know we don't want to use it though <laughs> right you know I mean like I want right I, I guess it, it if this comes up if, if this comes up further my proposal is is that we will install a fence to uh, the minimum amount of area to protect, to protect what we're doing. That's would be my first proposal on this. You know, once it's in, it's, it's going. Um, I, 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 I agree that further. it should be. You know, I mean, right now when during this pilot test, it's just the uh, the the water container, which is like a shipping container, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a steel yeah. tank. That's so I think that that's pretty really, secure. And it's I'm not really yeah. too worried about that, but. You know, yep. if, if, if it starts going further and we feel, and they feel, then we'll, we'll, we will address it. But uh, as of right. right now, I mean, I don't want to impede on I want to make this as low impact as possible. But if it comes to the time that it's a, it's a any type of safety issue or liability issue, sorry, we're going to definitely fence that thing in to, to protect ourselves and the residents. I wouldn't need a lot of kids down there and everything when it comes to that. So right now, just the container. Not really worried about that, right? Um, no. Is there when when we're running lines and such? Is is we're going to have some sort of um, lockability to the connections? Mm -hmm. Is that the plan, Fran? Lockability. Because um, so. Um, <laughs> you could I guess I can it. honestly say that there are some people that don't want us to do this study down mm -hmm. there. Really? So, I didn't know that. if if no. if somebody wanted to sabotage, if, yeah. I would hope that it, nobody would ever do anything like that. But it's not hard to disconnect the hose. And what did you say we're pumping that well at? Uh, no. It could could be five hundred gallons. I'll get a hammer and smash the valve. Well, right. Well, more. I just more, I, more of the lines of like also put something in there that's not supposed to be, etc. I think whatever we set this up, it needs to be a secure, tamper-proof, right type so, of thing. And, and then, you know, if, if with saying that, yes, some type of an alarm, if they can't come up with an alarm, then basically we're going to need to go down and fill the tank every day. Because to me, that's the only, if there is any action in this whole thing that could, could cause any kind of harm to anybody, it would probably be when you're running a well to fill the tank. If there was a... I mean, get their feet wet. Yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. What's a what's a pressure, and what's a line it's size? It's gonna be low pressure. It'll probably be a two inch line. Yeah. Okay. We're talking all small little stuff. I would assume it's gonna be either a fire hose, or we do a, a rigid 
hard line plastic thing. It's scheduled to 40 or something. Right? Yeah. 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 So I mean, I don't feel I don't view that as the uh, I don't think it's like a high like a hydraulic line block. Okay. So well, I'm so I'm coming from the fire sure, side. Yeah. Four inch no, line pumping eleven hundred gallons a minute at valve shut off no, seventy psi. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, I, okay. I, I, I'm with Fran. It's just it's like a, you could use a lay flat hose, like you know, like a. Yeah. a okay. It's not a a high. Okay. Impact. I wouldn't well, want to use a lay flat. Because of the vandalism aspect. Uh, correct. That's, yeah. I don't think we should either, nor would I want to. But I'm just saying that but, the type of pressure could be handled in that. Okay. Um, That's fine. Yeah, I, we're, we're I, low, low pressure. Well, the, the lowest pressure we can to get into the tank. Right. Right. I'm going to guess... 10 PSI. Yeah. It, oh, okay. So that, no, that's that's yeah. not what I'm picturing. I'm picturing when you're pumping big oh, amounts of water. No, you ain't going like to the, the high pressure. Like oil the, blowing out the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. No, I just, we're just, yeah, we're just filling it. So. Then that, that alleviates... I don't have a concern on that end. It'd just be if I just, was, I think whatever we set up, obviously, is going to be there for quite a while. Yes. I would I would favor more of a permanent... Even if, we, let's say, we did it in Schedule 40, like plumbed it together, mm. I'd be a fan of doing that versus... Something else because it's going to be sitting there for months and months right. and months. Yeah. yeah, so we do schedule. I mean, we do glute fittings. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Are we are we are we doing that? <clears throat> uh, aspect? I'm, not, I'm not sure if the okay. the uh, float pilot test guy will do it. Or okay, he, I would be in favor of taste. something like that. A harder line. A hard line glued together. Therefore, like if there was anything that uh, was tampered with or broken, well, we could easily see like, hey, that's. Yeah, that's and that like, could be part of the daily inspection. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, and then we're, we're going to put cameras there, so yeah. Yeah. if something does happen, we look at the cameras and uh, see what happens. Uh, okay. Go to jail, so you can't mess with the public quantity. Mm. Yep. Okay. Um, was there anything else that you saw from the meeting other than this? That, uh, I mean, there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of... That. The, the Dufresne Henry report where they said the lake dropped the foot. So someday we really need to address. I'm that. I'm not I'm not I'm I'll tell you where I'm at with it. We've had discussions with a hydrogeologist. They are our reports from people that we hired. Um, there was one question that I would like to have answered uh, because I think it's it might be out of context. Um, was uh, well let me get back to my, my view on it if somebody wants to prove us different then I feel that they should hire their own hydrogeologist to come and tell us that what two people two professionals have told us is wrong so I'm I am not in favor of somebody taking our reports written by professionals for professionals and taking little lines out of uh, 200, uh, is it that Dufresne and Henry, a 200 yeah, page report? It's, it's pretty big. It's kind of take one line and say that that's gospel. You, you can't. You have to take the whole report in context. The, the question that I heard that came up at conservation uh, on this subject was um, um, I believe Mr. Fortune was concerned about when that report was referenced that if that happened, the lake would get a new equilibrium. And I think that's what it was, was we were, he was referring that, that, that section of the report that comes up all the time that says if the lake was a toilet bowl, which means there's no water flowing in anywhere, and you pump that well at full capacity, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for 100 days, Days. That we would drop the lake level in that bucket that doesn't have any recharge afoot. Mm -hmm. And I think if that happened, that was, I believe, the point where the hydrogeologist said a new equilibrium would, would come into play. And I think it's because of that. I'm not, I don't think it's if we use that well that a new equilibrium is going to come into play in regular use with regular recharge. I would like to get that clarified that that comment came from the, the pumping 100 days. And also to understand that that is nowhere near ever a possibility right. that we're going to yeah. use that well. I want to say about Wayne Peter Pettis. You know, that is, that is, 
you have a better chance of going into the woods and seeing a unicorn and Bigfoot than having that happen, in my mind. Because they couldn't even cite a case. I don't think that that ever happened. I don't know why they would put... It must be some sort of engineer speak All right, so for that. So give me a few minutes here, okay? Okay. So whenever we do uh, the zone two map, any zone of protection for a well site, it's based on worst case scenario. And in uh, zone two, it's uh, 180 days with no rain, which uh, would never happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's impossible. So in this little paragraph that they keep reading, they're, they're, that's what they're referencing. 100 days with no rain. 700 gallons a minute, which the well only does 500. 700 gallons a minute is a million gallons a day. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. 100 million gallons a foot. That's that's where all these these are all fact numbers. Yeah. Okay. So. So uh, this worst case scenario is that we went 100 days, no rain. Bumpus Brook is blocked off, and there's your toilet bowl. There was no recharge from any surrounding soil. So if we pump that well at 700 gallons a minute, which it can't do, for 100 days, yes, the lake would drop a foot. But that's, that's unrealistic. To me, this is saying how awesome that this is that it would there is no impact to the lake well that, that's what this is saying also how great it is that that lake would only drop a foot if there was no recharge no rain and the mumpus brook was broad block and all the other little brooks that feed it so to me this is saying that all their concerns are gone this is saying how little impact that well would have on that lake i think that's i think your your description right there is probably how the hydrogeologist should have said it. Yeah, so but you, the, you brought up technical. a good point. This is from engineers, hydrogeologists, to DEP's engineers. This isn't for a homeowner, a lake person down the lake who wants to read a little one paragraph. If you want to read all the specific permeability and all that stuff and study all that stuff and then you want to come talk to me, bring it on, you know, okay? But they didn't. They read this one little spot, the lake could drop a foot, and they're focused on that. But they need to focus on what the intent of that little paragraph is, and that's how there will be no impact to that lake. They need to look at it the other way. And I think a lot of people do, because a lot of people don't don't agree with a lot of that stuff. So I'm still back to my point is I don't think we need to spend any more time on that. I agree. And I don't think we even need to discuss it because we've 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 gotten from our Multiple engineers times. the what we feel at this point. It, it needs to come from somebody else. I'm with you. And I don't I'll, want to hear it I'll again, public, publicly, publicly squashing this at this point, say it, my my view, or maybe we ought to come up with a view as a board, if, if somebody wants to contest what our professional reports are and have said, then they need to bring a professional report to us. I'm, I'm I think, with you. I think and, it, and it's not a lot of money we're talking about. That, Dufresne and Henry, was probably a lot of money. Well, this is the whole pump test. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I also think that the, the one factor that no one's talked about here is the DEP would not approve a well that would drain a lake. Exactly. So Yes. They we, reviewed we this can, again. We, we can sit here and talk amongst, casually amongst yeah. each other, and we can talk with the residents. Once again, we are governed by, by DEP. DEP. Yeah. And I think that is the one issue that when every time this comes up, if any resident has an issue with this report, this well, they need to contact the DEP because those are the people that authorize it and if they feel like it's, they can I, shut it down. We can't, DEP can. So this, all this talk, DEP regulates this. End of story. So okay. We so, zoom, you want to go? I want the Zoom meeting because we, we brought this up. Yep. And uh, the head person of DEP questioned if we did some specific study during the pump test. And I said, I, I really don't know. I, I've never looked at it. So uh, it was it was a little while later she she found the report. Mm -hmm. And she said, yes, you did do it. And, uh, yeah, you're all set. So, it, it, like, exactly as you said, if we impacted the lake, there would be restrictions on, on us running that well. Correct. And Which, they did not want to put any. And this was, what, when we had the Zooming, three months ago? Okay. And, so uh, no impact. So I think we ought to come out with a position as a board about that one item that continues to come up time and time again. And I think it's a little bit of, we asked the hydrogeologist and we have a, a, a quote that we forwarded to um, concerned parties down there, it was a little over three grand, for him to come in and basically break it down in layman's terms, what all that is. Mm -hmm. That's only, and that's, if it, so to me, 
that's education well well spent or money well spent on education if, if they want it but I guess we ought to come up with a position and I think your position that you just had through DEP I think we should almost have like a policy letter written and memorandum for record this is this board's view uh, rebuttal if you want to call it on the consistent recontacting to this do Framingham report mm -hmm. that's been pulled seven different ways. Just some sort of a letter that we all agree on, and just every time it comes up, I'm not going to keep dis discussing this. This horse yep. is beaten into the ground. Mm -hmm. These are the rules and regulations. These are the the pump test. It shows if there's any other concern about this, you need to go contact the DEP because they're the ones that approved it. Why would they approve it? If we were right, they 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 we have all the engineering reports right. and everything. So yeah. if it was going to make any impact to that, like it would have been noted in the report. Period. Does anybody know the qualifications of the engineer who wrote that report? <laughs> like yeah. insane. Qualific isn't yeah. he the one one of the guys that was part of it? Was he part of it? The one that I reached out to. I mean, is no. he is he, oh, a, geo is, uh, is he a geologist is also, or is he a, it's a hydrogeologist? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this this is written. There's different sections diff written by different people, but yeah. in the end, it's all full. But in full. the end, once again, if you're talking about, it's like a, 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 a it's like someone doing a Title Five inspection test. Yeah. Them, say, well, I don't believe them. they are regulated by Massachusetts. Okay, yeah. Yeah. believe them, don't believe them. They are going to follow a set of rules, and this is all this is all above. It's beyond us. With all, with all that we're we're doing, you, you had mentioned Fran at one point. Are they going to require us to do a pump test again? 48-hour test. Mm -hmm. uh, one is, is it that type of a test? It'll be a full capacity. Full, is yeah. that is that what that report uh, hi that. highlights? That report uh, show that, all of that. No, but yeah, I mean, this it, was the the five-day continuous pump test when we put it online. Okay, so they're not going to do a five, but they're going to they're going to require us to still do a 48-hour pump test, which is going to uh, that tells you all the different groundwater levels around in the whole deal. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we're going to do water quality. Uh, we can put monitoring levels in the in the lake. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Once no, I, I, I would agree that uh, you know, I don't know if we want to hammer that out now, or or want to come up with something for our next meeting that is pretty much a response. I, I'm I'm asking the board if. Um, we could contact that hydrogeologist and try to put a frame of reference around that came that that question that Mr. Fortune had to see if if that was referring to that type of a condition, which would be because I think it came it was part of that. I, I thought the discussion was part of the that. Guy, the, the recent guy was Peter Shannon. He's yeah. like the MIT. The he's yeah. like the, the highest. He's the one, one who reached out to okay. Yes. So. Uh, this, semi retired. This, wasn't, yeah. this was not written by Pete Shannon. Right. We did hire Pete Shannon years later. And the hydrogeologist that was at the the selectmen's Hard, meeting. Dave Howard. Yeah. Yes, he, he's the one that. And, and I, I was just wondering, and I that in what what reference did the the new equilibrium comment that Mr. Fortune was talking about come into play? Uh, he, that got brought up also at that selectmen's meeting when he when he talked about that. He says if. This happened. A hundred days, no rain. And that, the, well, the well was jumped. He said, "Yes, a new re equilibrium would be established." And I said, "Okay, about about what?" And he's like, "Possibly immeasurable, like a millimeter or something to that effect." Mm -hmm. that, okay. That was that was if we had a hundred days without rain and we ran it at seven hundred gallons a minute. That was if. Well, that's what I. That's if if that's if that's also the case. That, I just want to clarify. The that. equilibrium could be higher. Yeah, uh, you know, it just it, it all just said it could be reestablished. So yeah, just, and he sorry. couldn't he couldn't put a quantitative value on it, but it was not going to be measurable. Correct. Just, just so everybody understands, if we went a hundred days without rain, the the Lancaster wells are all dried up. They just if you want dirt, they're going to pump dirt. That's mm -hmm. all that's there. Uh, the Keating well would be very restricted use, and we'd be such a catastrophic. Uh, Failure of the water supply that it probably be restricted that everybody can flush their toilet once a day. That's that's how right. catastrophic. It's not this, going so to. So this this is this is unreal. This is it's unrealistic. Right, right. And, uh, it, and it, I, I'm with I'm, I, I disturb me when I keep bringing right. that up. It, it, it keeps right. getting brought up. It's been brought out of context. In and, and I and I think I, I like that 
draft a letter or something that, that this can be shown I think we to. should I think we should cover that and everybody else's um, concerns about the, what the effects of operating that well are to the lake and and how mm -hmm. how minimal that is and that basically you know DEP would not be permitting this well if the or would be putting several right. restrictions if it was found that we so what, you know, and I guess I kind of always go back to the DEP thing because once again time. we can talk all we want bit. about it, but yeah. yeah, the DEP is the final say in this. And, and for us, we can discuss it. Like, but it doesn't matter. I, I, I drive by that dam six months a year, and it's flown over the end. I can't use that water. I, you know, what I mean, it's. A, I, I don't. Think it's I, not. It's not our choice. Yep. It's not our choice whether how much we can run the well. So it's all been regulated for us. By, how, how many times have we? We've discussed this and yeah. brought this up to, to, oh, yeah. to Woodlands yeah. and Hickory Hills and proven to them what the geologists and the hydrogeologists and, and all the engineers and everybody involved, you're not going to change anybody's mind. It is what it is. Yep. I wouldn't even bother with it anymore. Anybody brings it up, that's in the past. We're not talking about well, it. I, I, guess, I guess that's what I'm saying. It's rather for us. The more you bring it up, I don't the more want to keep talking about it. I want to write a letter, and if it soon as it gets brought up, dude, here's a letter. Mm -hmm. This is our stand on this. If you disagree with it, you call, contact EP. We, we, we've done more than our due diligence on yeah. this. I would agree. Uh, um, I, <clears throat> I, I guess through your through your notes, we might be able to draft something. Do you want to try to make it? Do you, uh -huh. we want? To, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, you. I I I understand how you described it, and I would agree that. There's, you know, we we look at and test and retest, and right. we got to deal with DEP, EPA, and all right. sorts of different things. And we spun our tires a lot of minutes on these meetings on this particular issue, and I, I honestly don't. I'm, I'm I don't, don't want to waste time on it anymore. I'm not saying, yep. and I'm not saying it's unimportant. I don't mean to waste time for it, but like we need to be a little more efficient. We've talked about this. It's it was important. it was important, but it's not important anymore. No, it is. It is important, John. Yeah. No, we've done it. We we proven to them what we had to prove to them. Yeah. They won't accept it. So it's why well, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna we're so gonna we write could, a memorandum. For yeah, we, we could talk it. about and it. And every forever. time this comes up, we'll amongst each other. We'll be like, let's refer to we're this. We're just friend. gonna hold it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I brought it up. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 it's it's. Right, a, I agreed to the letter, but after that. Yeah. Done. yeah. That's well. That's the point of the letter. That's the okay. point of the letter. Well, yeah. they're still yeah. going to bring it up, though. And when they bring it up, we just we forward that letter. We, we have, we have a, we have a yeah. bottle on that, and that's it. Well, the thing is, we've done everything we need to do at a point. If they disagree with the reports, and DEP has licensed it, right? Go to I, DEP. Yeah, if, if, and, uh, and if you have a problem with, or anybody has a problem with it, you need to come with come to us with more than I don't agree with it. Mm -hmm. I need some sort of sanctioning body backing up this, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and. Once again, please don't bring it to us. Bring it's it like, to I don't know, it's like the third time it's right. We're going to pause for a second. Yes. <laughs> Some music we can play. Yeah. So the uh, yeah. So we're last in the agenda for the commission's meeting. So I mean, uh, conservation meeting. So. Uh so it could be a while because yeah, a lot of the returning. Sometimes the returning stuff is is pretty easy. Yeah. So. She she doesn't know. She thinks three of them continues, which she says it it could be pretty quick. So. Yeah. So we'll see. When are when are they going to get off the Zoom meeting and? and oh, they still. Listen. I think it's the only. Uh, does, are there any other boards that still Zoom? I've been to zoning. Um, I don't think so. Planning. They're the only ones in town that do it. I think. Hmm. I don't know. To, to me, it's it's different when you're sitting there with the people. You know, you, you yeah. can't see. You want to look in their eyes and you see. You can't their, see how their facial expressions and how yeah. they're. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'd rather see. You know? Oh, absolutely. I like you know. See where you go. Like, oh, that's it's not a good road to go down. And I didn't even know how to really react. Do I raise my hand? What, what do I do? I, I didn't even know what to do. Yeah. You know? Isn't there a lockout or something on the screen? Or the well, there was, there, was, there was a time in the meeting, too, that, that uh, when they switched chairs, yeah. that the co-chair ended up getting dropped off the meeting. So it's... Oh, yeah. There, there are some convenience factors to it, but uh, I, 
you know, um, geez, can I share my screen with you? I don't know. To, in order to see stuff, it, you we used to go to meetings. They bring the, you know, you have the plans. You have everything right there. Yeah. We're back on. Okay. Okay. I got, oh, I oh you shut it off. Yeah, you shut it down for. Oh, well, you're, our, you're, you're, you're our recorder, so we, <laughs> yeah, sorry. we had light chit chat and now <laughs> back into. So, um, moving on. I guess we've. Uh, Pretty much hit anything. Anybody that watched that meeting have anything else? I mean, there was there was a there was a lot of back and forth. There were some good questions. Um, you know, I think people got to say their their peace of mind, and and our, I thought uh, there. I thought you know I I thought that the majority of the the questions were good. So yeah, uh, we'll see what happens on the twenty first. So we good with the, as far as the pilot study, conservation updates, we're all done with that. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll try to work on that memorandum or board view yeah. or whatever we want to call that. Yep. So now we have Commissioner, Superintendent, Clerk, Treasurer, Addition. I'm good. It's a good day. <laughs> uh, Nothing I can think of. Yeah. So no, we, uh, um, you guys are doing good. That's pretty much it. They, they did their tests. Uh, yep. Moving ahead for the next tests. So yep. They're, they're doing really good. So. We stopped and saw them the other day. Everybody seemed to be happy and working. Hmm. With the staff that we have, I know in the summertime, sometimes you brought some additional people on to do some of the general maintenance hydrants. Uh, there's a lot. My reason for asking this is there's a lot more growth and vegetative growth I've seen definitely this spring. And when I actually, when I pull out of here and take a left, I can almost barely yeah, never, see, never see that hydrant lovely. right there. I you, brought that up to the guys. I on said, Hollis Road? I said, no, right out here on Mass Ave. Oh. I said, if you can't see a hydrant, you pull over and weed whack them. So yeah. Is, is the state responsible yeah, you, for the bottom of Hollis that's Road? Right yeah. in the, you can't the see corner. the hydrant. Oh, that's us. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Sorry, yeah. the grass is this far over the top of the hydrant. Unitel came in last week or the week before and had asked about, I guess, they're cleaning all over town, the line. So yep. I think anything that has a mark, they're going to be cutting. So when you pull out down here yep. by the telephone pole, yep. I think I saw marks on those yeah. couple trees. So those will be nice because, yeah, you do have to pull out yeah. a little bit. So I think they'll Unitel might be helping us out a little. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. What's the T stand for? Tree? <laughs> take down. Take down. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that could be. But I, I'll make a. I'll make a comment to the boys again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not I just ride right around the weed whacker. You see one. Yeah, give it yeah a, I know, I but I know that they're. You know, they're, there's a lot of other things that are going on, and typically we would hire on some part-time staff if, yeah, if that if work. that was but, needed. Uh, <coughs> that's that's happened for a couple this year. But well, actually, we with Greg leaving this little. You might. Hire yeah. Some but. High school. Just tell the boys step it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be sure to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them. Christy said, "Step it <laughs> up." <laughs> Lisa is always looking to get outside. See, we even did the mulch and stuff out Friday. Yeah, yeah. Slow day. So yeah, look at that. Yep. Um, I still would like to looking good. brainstorm between all of us. I would like to put something down next to that sign. Yes. Some water work device. I don't know what, um, but. Just anybody's got any thoughts? We got an old hydrant around. Uh, we I can't put a hydrant because the firefighters. Oh yeah, we, we want it. We, we, yeah, we think we could get water out of that. Uh, thing. Uh, you know, some old pump or I, I don't know. But like, I love, there was a, yellow, there was a really gas cool gas. tractor that would have looked good down there when yeah. they first fell. Yeah. But I don't know what happened to it, John. It's still right over there. Nobody's oh, touched yeah. it. Yeah. What, the tractor's still over there? Yeah. Oh. Nobody's touched it. Yeah. Except no. his excavator. Well, you know, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, did you nudge it? No, no, Like, no, uh, no. soil exploration has, the, like, that old tractor. Uh, yeah, with the thing drill on it. Yeah. I guess, I don't know, something I know. like that. But that's kind of... Something, some pipes with a valve from a big... Yeah, yeah. something. <laughs> anyway. Anything else? That was it for me. That's it for me. I make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Oh, I like that idea. So move. Bye. Bye. Okay.